Good evening, ladies and gents. Back with another Conquerors Blade video. This time around, we're going to be looking at the Tier 5 Phalanx unit, which has come into game this season. I'm going to be going through all the veterancy lines, the skills, and I'm going to be showing you a load of gameplay footage for this unit. So, before I go into the controversy of this unit, I am detailing everything that you need to know. This is obviously the Tier 5 unit from this season. To be able to unlock this, you need to be uh, on the seasonal challenges for Alexander. And the great unlock the slingers unlock the cavalry and then you can unlock the phalanx now this is the tier 5 unit and they are a very sharp stabby stick with a shield and these guys actually do pump out quite a bit of damage once you learn how to play them so you have a brace you have a advance or actually retreat you have aries flurry as well which does a huge amount of damage and then you have divine gaze which is a bit of a weird skill it puts down this little marker kind of in front of you and then the sun ward phalanx deals 40 percent increased damage against enemies with five stacks of exposed so every time an enemy goes into this kind of little area it will gain a stack of exposed increasing the amount of damage that is happening to it so massive massive damage potential for these guys now Veterancy, the top line seems to be the best. We have tried it, tested it on both lines. This bottom line doesn't really seem to do much for them. The top line is the one where it's at because actually a lot of people have not yet realized the main damage output from these guys is the Ares Flurry skill. And this will increase or give you a 30% chance to knock down enemy units as you use it. So this is a very, very powerful skill. It does a huge amount of damage. And the best way I have found of actually using these guys is by bracing them, advancing them into the uh, heat of battle, using Ares Flurry, retreating them out using the advanced skill, hitting the Ares Flurry again, and rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Some people do use the V skill as well, which I have tried. I don't seem to score as many kills as I do when I'm using that. So I really focus on the Ares Flurry skill, which does a huge amount of damage. So these guys, unfortunately, have had a bit of controversy over the last few weeks. And most of that controversy is the low health in comparison to other tier 5 units and the very low ranged uh, defense as well so they seem to get absolutely slayed by anything that is a ranged unit archers muskets everything seems to absolutely tear through them um, and their health seems to be fairly low in comparison to some other units such as the reapers and things the samurai unit are 4000 plus in terms of health so you can see these guys are very lackluster in terms of health however where their real strength comes in is the amount in this unit there are 40 unit models in this unit which is a huge amount and these guys can go into a bit of a column they can go into a bit of a square they can also go into a semicircle the best one i have found is the formation two which is a bit of a square that seems to pump out a lot of damage very very quickly a lot of people seem to be struggling how to actually play these and a lot of people have been asking for a bit of a buff on them i think personally they are quite a well balanced unit i think a slight increase in the range defense and a slight increase in the hp wouldn't be a miss but then they're a fairly well balanced unit they do pump out some big old damage numbers which you've probably seen throughout this video as well are they worth brushing ahead and unlocking i would say this is a unit to just grind for this isn't a unit to kind of pay for but definitely worth unlocking at some point because i think these guys are going to be very well used in territory wars blocking off choke points gates uh bottlenecks things like that i think these guys are going to be very very useful for that kind of stuff they seem to just be a better forza braccio unit which has a bit more versatility and like i said their aries flurry skill does huge amount of burst damage as well which is really really cool and very very nice they obviously do have a little bit of block using their shields as well but their main kind of thing is pumping out that damage advancing bracing all that kind of stuff so so fairly decent unit i'll give it a good kind of six six and a half out of ten i would say so not the best in game definitely not the worst but definitely worthwhile unlocking at some point in the future i'm going to leave the video there i hope you've enjoyed this video and this glimpse into the tier five somewhat flanks units and everything like that let me know how you are playing these guys let me know your best kind of build up for these guys how you are using them if you are using the v to attack and everything like that but thank you very much for watching hit me up up in the comments down below hit that like button hit that sub button all that lovely fan doobie dasty stuff and i hope to catch you out on the battlefield